and welcome ambassador to, uh, to join us in this interview and on the occasion of the 103rd the International Women's Day so we are so honored to have you here and uh, we know that you play a very active role in this women issue and you have a lot of engagement so could you please first um, introduce us your latest engagement in this issue uh, well, the latest engagement uh, in the issue was that uh, a number of uh, women ambassadors here mm -hmm. in Beijing mm -hmm. have uh, written an article together on the occasion of International Women's Day um, to highlight the importance of uh, paying attention to women's issues mm -hmm. and of strengthening the uh, solidarity uh, among women uh, across uh, various nations and uh, cultures. Um, and I'm very happy that uh, a large number, practically all of the uh, female ambassadors and also representatives of international organizations uh, who are currently in Beijing um, are, are uh, co-signing this, uh, this article. Mm -hmm. oh. So what kind of role you play in this engagement? Well, simply to, simply to bring people together um, uh, and, and ask them uh, to work together on International Women's Day to mm -hmm. publicize, mm -hmm. to publicize uh, the importance of the day. It's very good to celebrate International Women's Day and it's, it's really, uh, I'm really astonished how well China celebrates this day. Uh -huh. But we feel also that it's important um, to remind ourselves and to remind the public that uh, not everywhere in the world uh, women and men are totally equal and there are still uh, lots of problems uh, connected with uh, violence against women, with discrimination against women of all kinds, so that we all have to make an effort together to promote women's rights and, uh, and to keep pushing for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, which role do you think women play in the whole society, in the whole human society? Well, women make up half of humanity and uh, statistically even a little more than half of humanity. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think the, the societies, the very complex societies of today um, need the potential of women, the gifts of women, the talents of women the hard work of women uh, to flourish. So women should be um, included in all the decision-making processes. They should be at the table uh, when there are peace talks after a conflict. They should be able to have leadership positions in government, in private business, uh, in all sectors, in universities, uh, in journalism, etc. Because they bring half of the potential of humanity. They have half the gifts of humanity. So a society that runs only with one half of the gifts and of the talents and of the potential deprives itself of so many good solutions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, you are yourself a female uh, ambassador, female successful diplomats around the world. So um, in your opinion, so what kind of advantages does a um, woman have um, compared to their male colleagues in work or in um, daily life? Mm. Um, I think it depends, uh, it depends on the profession. Uh, in diplomacy, perhaps, women have um, certain advantages because they are trained to seek the common ground. They are trained to bridge differences in opinion. Mm -hmm. They are trained to look for what unites rather than for what divides. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our, our upbringing, our, our social uh, learning in childhood, etc., teaches us uh, to do all these things. And in diplomacy, that comes in, 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 in handy. Um, also, women sometimes are probably quite good at communicating at uh, verbal expression. Mm -hmm. A lot of diplomacy has to do uh, with words, with, with how we express things, how we convey ideas, how we can 
um, advance the understanding uh, with our partners. Mm -hmm. So women may, may be good at that uh, mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe you have some your own ideas to share with us, mm, the, uh, which can show your advantages as a female. <laughs> well, um, for me, uh, for me, it was not difficult to to work in the field that I have chosen. Um, I have not personally, I have not encountered mm -hmm. discrimination. Uh -huh. uh, but there are still uh, many uh, in in Austrian society. There are still many um, ideas about the division of labor between men and women, mm -hmm. and and there I think often women. Um, have to do more. They have to uh, make a greater effort to be recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, women have to work as hard as men do, but then often they still do the cooking and they still, uh, you know, have to look beautiful also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's sometimes more laborious for a woman than for a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, yeah. They are expected to be good at sports mm -hmm. and at the same time they are s expected to make good cakes, you know. I mean, so women have to be multitasking in, in, in many ways. And um, I, I, I guess I have experienced uh, some of that. but. I also have always tried to to do what I find joy in, mm -hmm. and perhaps that's um, that's a good way of putting it. That uh, um, to encourage women to do what they find joy in, and that can be many things. It can be professional work. It can be um, the the work of a housewife and of a mother working with um, her child or her children. Um, making a nice home for her husband, that can also be a choice that a woman makes and uh, finds great joy in it. I think the important thing is that women, uh, women can make choices, that it's up to the woman to choose and not mm -hmm. up to society to prescribe a certain role that, uh, that women have to, to execute. So I guess the encouragement I would like to give is that, uh, that women who have so many talents and so many gifts should use those talents and use those gifts and, and go where their own joy leads them, where they find uh, contentment in their, in their life. Mm -hmm. So no matter what kind of um, profession the woman will have, uh, the most important thing should be they have to um, follow their heart, follow their interest, mm. and enjoy what they are doing. Yes. So, and society should encourage that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not put obstacles. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So the society should give women such kind of right mm -hmm. to lead the life they can, they they, they have, um, they like. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, around the world, it's not everywhere the gender. Equality happens, the f the gender discrimination or we can say gender imbalance. Mm -hmm. It just happens in some w in in some societies around the world. So, could you please share with us your opinion on this issue? Mm. No, you are absolutely right. Uh, the the picture, the global picture, is not is not so good. It's really not so good. Um, in 1995, um, I came to Beijing for the very first time. And that was on the occasion of uh, the fourth International Women's Conference. Mm -hmm. um, and um, during that conference, uh, the so-called Beijing Platform for Action was mm -hmm. negotiated, which is a, you know, about a hundred-page document, which uh, contains recommendations in many uh, areas on how to realize the. Uh, equality between women and men, how to overcome uh, the discrimination against women, how to stop violence against women, how to make sure that women have a fair share in economic decision making or in political decision making, um, in the environmental issues, um, etc. And this was the document that was very hard to negotiate, but it was negotiated among all countries. You know, it's a of the world. It's a truly global document. And 20 years later, almost, 
1995 and 20 yeah. will be uh, mm -hmm. 2015. Mm -hmm. So we are just two years away from the 20th anniversary. Uh, 20, almost 20 years later, we have to say that not only um, has the Beijing platform of action not been implemented fully, mm -hmm. but even to today we would even not be able to negotiate a similar document again. Because um, on the on the global uh, scale, there uh, women's rights have not have not really advanced. Mm -hmm. uh, on the contrary, we still have very big problems in many many parts of the world. Mm -hmm. There is still um, violence against women. You know, mm -hmm. practically every country has a, a problem of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, there are still. Uh, terrible crimes committed against women in war areas. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, there is still, uh, even in my country, you know, women women earn about a third less than men mm -hmm. for the same work they do, for work of equal value that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have only, uh, at the worldwide level, there's only about 17% of the seats in national parliaments are occupied mm -hmm. by women. And when you look at the level of um, mayors, you mm -hmm. know, municipal government, mm -hmm. the percentage of women is even lower. Mm -hmm. So all countries, you know, have to make efforts to promote uh, the rights of women and, and uh, to overcome this kind of uh, discrimination against women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So mm, in your opinion, what is the reason, or what are the reasons uh, on these kind of problems of gender discrimination? I think a lot is uh, is, is uh, old cultural traditions that have not mm -hmm. really been uh, um, overcome. Um, one reason why women uh, are often underrepresented in the political area mm -hmm. is. Uh, the share uh, between paid and unpaid work. Mm -hmm. In practically all countries, it is women who do the large amount of the unpaid work, mm -hmm. you know, uh, of the, the, the household, household chores, mm -hmm. uh, looking after children, but increasingly also looking after the old uh, mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. after the parents or grandparents that, that uh, require uh, care. Uh, in a family, often the division of labor based on tradition is that this, these are women's tasks. So women often have a paid job outside the house, but then they still do the lion's share of all these uh, unpaid chores. Mm -hmm. And then obviously there is not much time left, you know, to be active politically or to be active uh, um, in some other in a, in some other settings, business sector, or yeah, business sector, or mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. so and and it's it's very interesting when you look at some of the statistics, the percentages, you know, the, of the division of labor between men and and women, um, is so similar in so many different countries mm -hmm. of the world, you know. So you can you can take a, a country from Europe and you can take a country from Asia, and then look at um, what the division of labor is between uh, men and women, and you will find it's practically identical. The women do the the the, the large portion of the unpaid work, mm -hmm. and the men um, do the paid work, mm -hmm. which which is good and fine as long as the family stays together. Mm -hmm. But once there is a divorce or a breakup or the husband dies prematurely, then the women are often left in very vulnerable situations also mm -hmm. economically. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that can be very hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, women who, who are um, single mothers, for example, mm -hmm. in Europe and, and in other ca parts of the world, are very prone to poverty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So very, very risky situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think International Women's Day is a good occasion, you know, to to rally support, to to uh, to really remind ourselves that yes, we have we have achieved many successes, mm -hmm. you know, as women of the world. But still, a lot remains to be done, and mm -hmm. there are still many 
many of our sisters who were who, who live in great hardship and mm -hmm. and are uh, severely discriminated against and suffer violence of different kinds mm -hmm. you know simply because they are women mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and that and that I think needs to needs to stop mm -hmm. if you want to build uh, you know civilized societies mm -hmm. sustainable societies um, then uh, women's issues have to be addressed also yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to have a balanced society. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So what kind of uh, suggestion would you like to make to the whole women around the world um, to win a successful career and also to win a happy life, maybe? Mm -hmm. That, I think, is a, is a question of the balance that each, uh, each woman uh, and each family has to find for itself. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, some people will, some some people, some men, some women will will put more emphasis on on professional career. Mm -hmm. um, others will put more emphasis on uh, a family okay. life. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the important thing is that the couple, that the family itself, uh, decides together, and that uh, both the husband and the wife has uh, the opportunity to to live their full potential, to develop their uh, full capacity, yeah, to use their gifts, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't have one recipe, uh, I don't have one, uh, one recipe, I think it's very dangerous to have <laughs> only one recipe, yeah, same. you know, mm -hmm. uh, because people are very diverse and, mm -hmm. and there are many ways that lead uh, to a happy life. Uh, but. Uh, but society uh, needs to protect uh, the ability of women to choose, um, to choose uh, a career, mm -hmm. to choose a family life. You know, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be automatic that if a woman chooses a career, uh, that means that she forgoes having children, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. you know, there was a situation in my country about a hundred years ago when if a woman wanted to be a teacher, mm -hmm. you know, that decision basically meant that she couldn't have children of her own because oh. yeah because it was at that time it was seen as incompatible mm -hmm. you know to be a, a teacher in the school mm -hmm. and at the same time look after your own family mm -hmm. so these women basically were were uh, obliged by society you know to live celibate lives to mm -hmm. live alone mm -hmm. now we have come a long way since then Mm -hmm. But something of this idea still lingers. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that needs to be overcome. And it will o only happen, I think, if, if the men also take more responsibility for the unpaid chores of family life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on the occasion of International Women's Day, so what would you like to say to... Uh, Mail to the to the men around the world uh, to tell them um, to have a better uh, idea on this uh, woman issue. I would like to say to them, don't be afraid of strong women. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would you <laughs> say that? <laughs> well, because uh, because they don't need to be afraid of strong women. Mm -hmm. You know, women can be strong without being menacing. Mm -hmm. Uh, women can do many things without taking something away from men. Mm -hmm. So if women can enjoy uh, their rights fully, mm -hmm. if women can use their talents fully, mm -hmm. men will not be worse off, quite on the contrary. Mm -hmm. Society as a whole will be better, so, so men will also um, benefit from that. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's important to remember that women are not a minority. Mm -hmm. Women are not victims. Mm -hmm. Women are uh, personalities o of their own, and they can contribute to change. Mm -hmm. And they demonstrate that they bring change about uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's a change for for a better, more harmonious, more civilized mm -hmm. society. Okay, okay. 
So on this occasion, we would say congratulations to all women around the world to celebrate the 103rd International Women's Day. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Ambassador. And we should celebrate together. Yeah, we should celebrate together, all, all the women together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us in this interview. Thank you very mm -hmm. much for having me.